going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today hey we are back with cricket memes episode 116 episode 116 on this tuesday morning you know usually i do a memes episode yesterday on the monday you know memes monday it only makes sense but unfortunately we had some things come up um and i did upload an episode on saturday so i guess the extra day didn't do it any any difficult sort of harm here but hey we are back cricket memes if you are new around the channel subscribe leave a like and comment down below hey we're just gonna jump straight into this one it's gonna be another long episode no doubt um i think my last episode was like an hour 13 minutes or something which is i i think that's almost my longest youtube video that i've ever uploaded and i tell you what australian wi-fi even though we we are the creators of Wi-Fi. We have the 75th worst ranked Wi-Fi in the globe. So it's good. Um, and it takes me about three hours to upload a video sometimes. So um, hey, that's just the fun of living in Australia. <laughs> sometimes we're going to jump into it. Get your mum, get your dad. It's probably about it for now. Um, and let's get straight into it. Let's go. We've got the Arganta Masakazda <laughs> Trophy, the Battle of the Ultimate Titans. Whoa. Oh, Ashes 2.0. That's actually a really good trophy, I think, there, too. Um, and I like the bow. I like it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Looking really good there, aren't the lads, too? Um, oh, where's the where's the emote? There it is. Nice. That's a good way to start off a memes episode. Um, right there. Oh, brother. Who is the most exciting youngst uh, youngster in international cricket right now? A good question, actually. I mean, well, they've got the options here. Shookman Gill, Harry Brook, Cam Green, Jansen, Nassim Shah, and Finn Allen. Hmm. That's a good question, actually. I mean, let's rank them. Let's let let's rank them. So, all right. Let's start from uh, last. Okay, who's going to be last? Oh, man. This is tougher than I thought. Um... I'm gonna say, okay, this don't don't get upset at me, guys, but I'm gonna say Finn Allen last. I just think based on what they've done in international cricket so far, that's what I'm going off. So, you know, I'm not it's not for their potential, it's just what they've done so far. So Finn Allen, Marco Jansen, the same Shah. Actually, you know, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Finn Allen, Harry Brook. Ooh, actually. No. Finn Allen, Marco Jansen, Harry Brook, Nassim Shah, and then, oh, oh, I can't decide between Cam Green and Shutman Gill. I mean, both of them have done incredible things at international cricket so far, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay going to have to say Shutman Gill first, just because he has a double century next to his name. I mean, you can never take that away from him. And he's in some ridiculous form, so... I guess, you know, probably him. But if it was just test cricket, then you'd probably give it to Cam Green. So, um, that's, hey, that would be my ranking order on that. Be Yourself by Anushka Sharma. Shouldn't but they didn't, they didn't back me. They didn't believe in me. So, Damn. now when I'm successful and I should fall to the opinion of people saying, what the IPL? This was the case with me <laughs> till 2018 England tour happened. For yeah. four years of my life, I was doing well everywhere in the world. The only thing was but England. So there's always going to be but. You you literally can't live your life like that. And I just carry on doing my own thing. And I actually honestly don't even bother about a third person <laughs> beyond um, myself, Anushka, discussing things yeah. and just being true to ourselves. And, and that's it. For me, nothing else or no one else's opinion matters at all. Hey, facts right there. If, if someone's trying to... You know, if you enjoy what you're doing or you love what you do, never let anyone take that away from you. He, who gives a flying fuck what the local, you know, what, uh, you know, the local man Bob said to you and said, no, that's pretty embarrassing. Why are you doing that? You're never going to make it. You, you, you suck. What are you doing? You know what you do? You just don't respond and you go 10 times harder and then you prove them wrong. And I think that's a great way to go about it. Never mess with Indians. Okay. Oh, not a no meagle. <laughs> They're demons on there. Who's he? Nice, but we go. I want to be his boyfriend. Huh? Did she show a okay, picture of me? What the hell? Want to be your boyfriend? 
Oh, never mind. What's She's wrong like, with me? Why do you want him? How old are you? I'm 18. If you're 18, I'm actually 100 years old. Yo! No, you actually look 100 years, but I don't look 18. <laughs> are you wearing makeup, Amazing. by the way? Then wear it. Yo! <laughs> bro, no yeah, you need plastic surgery. Okay, bro, what is with this guy? Chill out. Do you have a boyfriend, by the way, for you? I've actually got 10 boyfriends. No, you don't. Are they, are That's they a all cat. banned? Yeah. Oh, I so mean, oh, oh, God, bro. <laughs> 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 No, but actually, how old are you, by the way? I'm 69. I don't want to know your favorite position. I'm asking about your age. Yo, I mean, look, man, I hope, um, I hope she was actually over the age of 18 because you got to be really careful making videos like that. And what if she's like, I don't know. I'm going to leave that to the side. Don't involve me on that. Oh, brother. Um, when your crush is on 99. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna, in case it's copyright, and your crush is on 99, you got Smriti! Shot! Oh, Virat! Hold it! Hold it! Oh. <laughs> yes, sir! Hey, if, 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 look, if it's Smriti, you have to do that. I would drop the catch as well. Um, I'd be like, oh no, I fumbled it! But I, I did that on purpose, man. Um,. Hey, what, what um, IPL team, well, woman's IPL team, do you think Smriti is going to go to? I've been seeing, like, all the, of course, the, the woman's IPL has been the news recently, and I've been seeing all the RCB fans, you know, make all of these edits with her in the kit and stuff. And I'm like, RCB fans, man, they're different. They are different. How different countries run? Hold on, what? Yeah, he's got spaghetti. They're playing chess. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Australia upside down. Oh, that's got to be racist. Oh! <laughs> Yo, bro did a kneecap. Oh, man. He's going to be out of action for the next six months. Uh, the most underrated finisher in T20s in the last five overs. David Keller Miller, man. He is a beast. Like... Yeah, killer, give David Miller his respect. I feel like he doesn't get the respect that he deserves, like, outside of, you know, the inside cricket world. Like, I feel like he deserves so much more respect, man. Um, Dhoni? Yeah. And then Virat. Mm. 193 strike rate. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, if you're striking the ball at almost 200 in the last five overs, you're feeling pretty good. You're, uh, you're hitting it quite well, they would say. The Black Scorpio craze? This car? Oh, brother, what are you doing? Build quality? Boat off-roader? But legend says, gangster look. Does look pretty gangster, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, no, not the white car in the mud. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know if I... Can I show that? What the hell? I don't know if I can show that last bit. I'm gonna have to edit that out, man. Jesus Christ. Um, that is that was just um that was GTA. That guys, right? That was um that was Grand Theft Auto at the end. That wasn't real. That was um that was a video game. Oh man, YouTube, please. Come on. <laughs> Let me get away with that one. <laughs> uh crazy facts about each country part two. Where's part one? Each country part two. What to Mali? You can carry a gun. That's not surprising. France? Okay, that's good. North? Oh, brother. Largest... F Are they really? Bhutan? Okay, that's interesting. Indonesia, biggest gold mine. Qatar? What? Oh! That's cool. India? Largest arms importer? Really? South... Fear of the number four? More guns than people? Yeah, again, that's not really surprising, is it? But um, why is South Korea scared of the number four? Like, what, you're telling me if I go to South Korea one day um, and I just, you know, pull up my hand and say, number four, they're going to, like, you know, execute me in the middle of the, in the street? Like, what's going on? What's wrong with the number four, man? That was my favourite number growing up. <laughs> it's probably still my favourite number. What's wrong with it? Oh, here we go. Here's pup. 
one. Never mind. Uh, for some reason, we can't watch that one, but we could watch the other one. <laughs> Bumrah vs Shaheen in... Okay, South... Yeah, you guys know what S-E-N-A stands for. Um, 44. I mean, ODIs. I mean, look, is anyone actually comparing, like, and saying that Afridi's better than, um, you know, Umrah? Because I, I wouldn't say that at that point either. And, I mean, Shaheen's played a lot less cricket, like, internationally, outside of Pakistan as well. Um, I will give him that. Takua? Oh, man. Even the man Lord Takua has better numbers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, man. Shaheen Afridi. Um, but to be fair, I will give this to Shaheen Afridi. When he tours... No, he, he started touring, you know, countries outside of Pakistan pretty early into his career when he was, I want to say, quite underdeveloped. Like, he had that natural pace, but he didn't really have the, you know, the positioning, the lines, the, the seam movement, you know, the right plans in place. He just used to come to the crease and bowl as fast as he could. Um, look at the best numbers here. Six for 33. I don't remember that. Um... <laughs> oh man. Um South Africa, South Africa, England, England. And you got a free against Damn, two of them are against Zimbabwe. Oh man. The Zimbabwe bashes. Um anyways. India Republic Day Parade from 51. To mark the You got some vintage footage? First anniversary of it. Republic Day, the president, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, arrived in state at Kingsway, New Delhi. Oh, he he's looking drippy. He was by Singh, defense minister, and also by the Naval and Air Force CMCs, who are British. The march of course they are. The units of India's fighting services was very smart indeed. There was ample evidence that tradition was being fully maintained. Representatives from India's most famous regiments were on parade, many of them veterans of World War II. Oh, shit. Just returned from the Commonwealth Conference in London, where oh. he strongly urged policies of negotiation, Mr. Nehru, the Prime Minister, now took stock of his country's military strength as troops, artillery, and armor went by. The Jaisalmer Camel Corps was a, a camel? picturesque item in the big parade, and in addition Here. to the armed forces, there was riding camels. illustrating scenes from India's ancient history. All that yes, what Republic was that? Day in New that Delhi was, was certainly impressive. Oh, that's kind of cool. Man, hey, some vintage footage right there. I think I've actually got a reaction. I think it's still on this channel. I believe I uploaded it on this channel. I think I reacted to like a, a March parade. I think it was 2018 or 2019. Um, I reacted to of the March parade in India. I think it was quite a while ago. So if you want to see that, you can, by the way, <laughs> you can try and find it somewhere. Out of context cricket. Uh, Big Stoiny. He's definitely got a got a presence he's a good looking man and he smells good why are you smelling him spencer i mean look spencer johnson of course he's a new upcoming quick in australia um he's pretty quick i mean look to be fair they are quite you know big pipes each they're both quite how do we say this um solid men you know I, if you saw them both in a dark alley i would run away um but yeah what in the i mean come on Leave Stoinis alone. He, he, he's he's in a committed relationship with Adam Zampa. He doesn't need this outside noise. You know, someone trying to hit on him. Not cool, in my opinion. Not cool. Um, England gave tribute to ICC. 68 run. The public... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the Pakistan captain scored only 68 runs. Yeah. Um... I thought he scored a bit more than that. Holy shit. Um, Jesus Christ. Hey, that's a good tribute from England, by the way. Really good um, tribute. Tight slap on face of haters like Megan Sh <laughs> Of course, yeah, I do understand that, you know, people don't really like Megan Shoot because of the thing that she liked on Twitter, which is fair enough. I mean, if someone went against my country, I wouldn't probably like them as well. So I can understand that. Hey, shout out to the uh, under-19 women's team, by the way. Yeah, here we go. Um, of the T20 World Cup under-19s, they now are the World Cup holders of under-19 men's and women's World Cup. So, hey, I mean, the future's looking bright <clears throat> for, for Team India on the women and men's front. So, you're feeling pretty good. <laughs> you're feeling pretty good. Here it is. 
Um, and that, um, that under-19 India men's team as well has some... I was actually looking at the team the other day, like just at the team sheet. And oh man, there are some gems from that team that are going to go on to play big careers for India. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Australia... I don't know, we didn't even make it out the group stages. That is just flat out embarrassing. I told the girls, don't come home. <laughs> if you don't make it to the group stages, don't even think about coming home. Rumors are they still haven't arrived back home yet. So um, I'll keep you updated on that. Um, yeah, I can't believe Shivali was um, able to play, even though she was that young still. Um, <clears throat> wait, what's this? India in under 19 World Cups. Yeah! Look at these legendary Australian teams at the World Cups. Yeah, I don't know. No, they, they're under 19, man. They claim the title right now. The BCCI announces five crawl prize to Team India for winning the World Cup. Hey, it's cool. Probably a little bit more should have been given, but hey, you do you. Oh shit, it looks like they're about to fight. Oh no, they're shaking hands. Never mind. I thought they were like I thought they were like facing up, like ready to, you know, just give a couple of jabs, but respectful. Man. It's good to uh it's good to see that they beat England as well. I think that was the best thing about it, is like, you know, you beat England. Like, I don't even think they care that they won the World Cup. It was more the celebrations because they beat England. That's what really mattered. Um Hey, that's the most important thing in cricket nowadays, so, um, yeah. Can I play this Twitter? Oh, I can! <laughs> oh, man. You know what it means, though, Indian fans? You guys know what it means. It means if you win both of the Under-19 World Cups, it means... They're the only World Cups that the ICC is going to allow you to win this year. So, hey, the ODI World Cup, it's back up for grabs. <laughs> it's back up for grabs. Um, India is the only team to have won an ODI T20 Men's Under-19 and Women's Under-19 World Cup. Well, when does the uh, Under-19 IPL tournament start? I think, you know, you've got to get back onto that now. It's time to bring in Under-19 IPL. Um, fuck it, why not? Nice crowd to witness a run out at the non-striker's end. <clears throat> Is it Team Australia? I only notice a few of them. I think that's um that Georgia. Actually, is this the Team England? Wait, no, Team England we're playing, so it can't be England. Who the hell is this? This looks like Georgia Wareham from Team Australia, but I don't I don't notice any of the other players, so my bad. I don't know. Yep. Ishan Kishan's last 13 T20 scores. Okay. 27, 15, 26, 3, 8, 11. God damn. 36, 10, 37, 2, 1, 4, 19. Oh no, Ishan. It's not going well. Um, but I'm not going to rule him out from, um, you know, being any opener at the World Cup. Not the World Cup, but... At least the opener for their for their short form team. I mean, look, Shutman Gill is obviously the guy, but um, you know you have to look after you know into the future who replaces Rowett, KL, um, Ishan and Shutman are probably those two front runners, and then you got Prickly Shaw, Guykewood, those sort of guys in there. Um, 199 runs at an average of 15 and a strike rate of 106, and I think that's his big letdown at the moment is that. Ishan's known for his big striking ability, like just getting away, putting runs on the board quickly. 19 off 32. Do you guys feel like he's just playing a little bit too careful now that he's playing internationally? Because sometimes players do that. You know, they, they play their natural game when it doesn't really matter. And then you get playing for international cricket. And then you, you go into your shell a little bit. But hmm, maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's more of an ODI player, but... Because obviously he did have that double ton in ODI as well. But um, interesting. What do you guys reckon? Maybe it's time to uh, just pull the pull the trigger on Prick v. Shaw and give the man a game, I think. <clears throat> Stat. Most balls in a T20 where no sixes was hit. No, 
Wait, there was not one six hit? I'm not going to lie, that is genuinely insane. How do you have a team with, you know, Finn Allen on one side and then the other side you've got Virat, Rohit Sharma, you know, and not one six gets hit? Oh, wait, they, they weren't even playing. Never mind. <laughs> they weren't even playing. Forget what I said. <laughs> Virat and Rohit weren't playing. My bad. Um, India tried their best to lose the match, but unfortunately, <sighs> they won. I know. They don't want to win those bilateral series. You want to save them the World Cup. But, <clears throat> hey, you got to do what you do, man. A flat track bully. Ishan ain't bad. He just struggles against pace, swing, spin, and strike rotation. Come on. <laughs> Leave the man Ishan alone. God damn. Man getting bullied. Um, just how the times change. Yeah. Three years later, eh? Damn, wait, so was this under-19 World Cup? She would have been 16 three years ago. Now she's 19. Damn. She was playing under-19 World Cup at the age of 16. That is nuts. Oh, wait, but isn't this the first woman's under-19 World Cup? So maybe that was, like, just a World Cup. I'll let that out. Don't worry. Uh, Neeraj Chopra wished luck. Oh, the, um, what's, what's he do? He does the, um... What's it called? Javelin. He does the, the javelin throw, right? Niraj Chopra wished luck and was present while Indian 19 women's won. Nice. Um, why is he running away? I mean, they won. <laughs> they won. He should be the good luck charm. Hey, there we go. There's the photo. Man, it's got to be a good feeling. Uh... We got the Tuk Tuk Academy. Nice. Uh, Ishan the Pocket Dynamite. Kishan scored 19 off 32. Nice. With a gigantic strike rate of 59. And of course, got support from Shutman Gill, the master of strike rate in T20s. Yes, sir. Shutman Gill, the master of uh, strike rate. That's right. 12 days too early. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> if the pitch was like that for the first test, we will be in for a cracker. But I think, um, yeah, the pitch should deteriorate a fair bit uh, by the time we get to that one. First time in history that both... Yeah, that is genuinely insane that no team hit a six for the match. Um, I don't know if I can play this, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, never mind, I don't think we're going to play it. The video is not available in my location. I think the um, one cricket, I think they're from um, India, right? Oh, on this day, 17 years ago, Ifran Patan became the first man on earth to take a hat-trick in the first over. Oh, it's got the BCCI logo. Do I risk it? Can I even watch it? Oh, hell no. No, no, no I can't do that. <laughs> it says visit the BCCI TV. Oh, hell no. But what we will do is skip to the celebration. Where is it? What a gem of a delivery! It just came straight back in and took out that man's middle peg. Yeah. Oh, what on earth is happening here? Um, Ishan <laughs> in the dressing room right now. <laughs> hey, man, they needed their fucking sleep. They had a big couple weeks. They had a, they had a big night out in the street. Shutman, you know, he invited a couple of Sarahs out. You know, he's got a couple. Then the man Ishan. Oh, you know, he gets amongst it too. He probably had too many beers, so uh, fair enough. Okay. Each to their own, man. They knew they were going to win, so it didn't matter. Uh, no choking in Shivali Firma era. Yo, <laughs> look at all Arm and Preet call. Like, what the hell? What a knock. Yes! I'm glad someone's bringing this up for the man Temba. What a man. What a legend. And just what an absolute king right here, man. People that just will continue to doubt King Lord Sir Temba Bavuma. I just got rocks in their head, man. Like, look at him. Just, he, he, he may only be four foot two, but when he hits a ton, he feels like he's about six foot eight. And I tell you what, he played a few shots that made him look like he was six foot eight. He just, um, oh, I did watch the highlights. I didn't watch the uh, full game, but, um, Man. Shout out to Temba. I'm proud of him. It's like it's yeah, it's like it's our son. It's 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 everyone's son, you know. 
Like, he may be older than us, and you got to respect your elders, but he's, he's a little dude. He's cute, man. He's, a, you know, <laughs> we all support him. Um, party time here. Look at the cameraman. I hope he's getting paid big. <laughs> hey, it's got to be the best feeling, man, to win a World Cup with your best friends and then go and celebrate. Temba, there's the 144 dots. Um, 14 fours, a strike rate of 111. Yeah, off 90 deliveries. So did it in good fashion too. Like it's not like he needed 145 deliveries to get there. He did it in good fashion. Um, and hey, that's this. He genuinely deserves this, man. I'm so happy for him. Um, do we have a Temba remote? Damn it. Don't. I need to get on that. I need to get on that. But I take my hat off to you, sir, um, and give you a little flick. Yeah, nice gesture. There we go. Hey, awesome stuff right there to give out because they deserve it, man. Especially young female cricketers. Like, if you want to keep them in the game and you know, happy and stuff, just give them a little bit of cash, man. I mean, beautiful. Uh, preparing well for BGT. 239 deliveries were bold today and no one managed to hit a single six. Strange game of cricket or was the pitch that bad? Both. Bit of both, I think. It was a mistake by Sky. Surya Kumar Yadav has missed five missed calls from Washington Sunda. <laughs> dad. Yo, no. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I tell you what, he's going to leave you some very rude voicemails too. Um, <laughs> he's probably got your dog hostage. Um, here is Aussie's preparation for BGT in Sydney. I mean... It's, look, it's actually good to see that Australia is taking the series serious for once because I don't know if this is wrong or ch wrong or not, but I don't believe they've done anything like this in the past with Team Australia. Like, we've sent our spinners to, like, a camp for the last seven days on these pitches where all of the spinners are just together for days on end, practicing, getting used to these sort of conditions with cracks and where to bowl in the, in the rough. Um... Which is good, because we need some experience before going over there. But, again, there's nothing you can really do in Australia to create the same sort of pitch that we're going to be playing on in India. I mean, the conditions are just so much hotter. Um, especially the pitches that have been sweating probably under, what do you call it, the, the, the fucking covers and stuff, you know, before the game. So, I think you're going to get a fair bit of this one here, probably just a little bit more, you know, Scruffier, but uh, I mean, it's the best you can do. <laughs> it's the best you can do in Australia, man. Will the Sixers make the final? <laughs> I don't know, man. No one's going to beat Perth anyway. So yeah, the competition's pretty much over. Uh, Perth beat us. We go straight into the final. The Sixers then play, I believe, we play the Brisbane Heat tonight. I think it is, whenever it is. We play the Brisbane Heat Whoever wins that game will then play Perth Scorchers in the Big Bash final once again. Um, and it's in Perth. No one's going to beat them. So congratulations to the Perth Scorchers on winning the Big Bash. Yeah. The most T20 finals amongst franchises. Yes, they are the CSK of the Big Bash. That is absolutely. Um, they, they do not stop winning. Look, they had, they had about like one or two seasons where they were actually down the bottom of the table. That's because I, they had so many injuries and like their entire team was playing for Team Australia. I think it was like 2018, 2019 sort of areas. But um, yeah, other than those like one or two years that they weren't that great, every single year they're playing in the final. And it's either between the Scorchers and the Sixers in the final every year or the Scorchers and maybe someone else or maybe it's the Sixers and someone else. But yeah, it's always Perth. It's always Sydney and seeming like that will be the final again. So um, it's great. <laughs> it's great balance for the competition, huh? News update. Sanju Samsung is fully fit now and he has started batting practice at Bangalore. Beautiful, man. Get him straight back into the team. <sighs> Sikanda Raza with his ICC, T20, and ODI caps. 
he deserves it, man. This is a Punjab King legend right here, firstly. Zimbabwean legend, my former teammate. Um, I think he's playing in the South Africa T20 League, but, um, man, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. <laughs> oh, Sikanda, what a man. Great move by um, Gujarat. Mithali Raj appointed as mentor and advisor. Is that for the uh, the men's team or the, the the new women's team? Either way, I mean, it's good, but um, fairly cool. Still waiting for my call up and uh, whenever I'll get the uh, the call up to be a mentor, but um, uh, I'll keep waiting. See when Michael lets me out of the basement. Uh, what if women's team of RCB wins an IPL title before the men's? Oh, now this would low key go crazy, I think. I think all men RCB fans will just, they'll, they'll treat it as a men's title. <laughs> they'll say, hey, we've won it. We've broken the curse. <laughs> we've done it, guys. You're going to see Virat Kohli in the stands with his shirt on saying, go team. He wishes it was him. They should put him out there in a wig. Uh, Virat Kohli is sitting with a batsman better than him. I can't find Baba. He's covered by Kohli's hand. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. Abhishek Sharma? Is that the real Abhishek Sharma? It's a bit of interesting there. I wouldn't have thought Abhishek was a big Baba fan, but okay. Uh, Temba to his haters. Yes, sir. Look at him, man. That's a man right there. That's a that's a guy who who knows cricket. He, hey, he's getting right into form before the World Cup, too. Imagine if. Like, imagine if Temba Bavuma just, like, randomly hits the most runs at the T at, at the ODI World Cup this year. Wouldn't that be cool? I hope he does. <laughs> we got Akash. I think in the long term, in terms of captaincy, it'll be Shubi Gill and Rishabh Pant. These are my two candidates for the captain future. He's probably right. I mean, I think Shreyas Iyer might have something to say about that, but... You can't really argue against it, to be honest. So, yeah, Rishab definitely. I think Rishab, obviously, we need Rishab to come back and be fit and get back into some form. But, um, yeah, Rishab's definitely that next guy. Him and Shereya, so I would say, are those two next guys. And then probably a few years after that, you probably look at giving it to Shutman when he's in his prime or something. Thank you, Google. Uh, Google is rolling out a feature for Android users that will allow them to lock Chrome incognito. Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, why do you need a lock incognito? Just delete your tabs. Um. <laughs> I mean, what are you guys looking up on incognito that you have to hide it? I'm looking at you guys. I know what you guys are doing. <laughs> India is preparing early. Uh, this is not a T20 wicket, no. Um, Gambir, it was prepared for BGT, that's right. And it is, <laughs> that's the way it's going. Sky was player of the match. Yo! <laughs> what a knock! What an absolute knock this is from the King Sky. You want to talk about Mr. 360, this may have just been his best knock yet. Um, just the elegance, the, the, the... Precision of the shots, 26 off um, 31 deliveries. You won't see a better knock this year. And, um, man, deserves it. Absolutely deserved it for that one. Incredible scenes right there. Um, India lead by two runs. Day one starts. All right, it's a good day of test cricket, guys. Um, it's good to see that New Zealand declared also eight for 99. Um, sheesh. History repeats after 16 years. Yeah. How about it? First men's T20 World Cup. In, yeah. yeah it's, that's pretty good timing, actually, considering it. Agree with Ajinkye? Uh, Ajinkye has a, opinioned that group stage games of Ranji Trophy should be at five instead of four. Every day, every game should be a result oriented in four days. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, test cricket is five days, so... They should be playing five days. I don't really think the extra day is is killing, you know, the cricketers that much. I think they probably would rather get a finish as well. And I know, obviously, people, you know, don't really go and watch the Ranji Trophy. But, I mean, an extra day, you know, it helps for finishes. And 
stuff like it might help get a few people in the door and come watch for the last day or something um yeah definitely some things you can do about it yeah so it's gonna be the heat v sixes as the brisbane heat they beat the melbourne renegades um yeah it's gonna be the sixes i think we played tonight i believe so man excited a little bit nervous best moment oh i know what this is is this where sharma does the little face I mean, firstly, what a delivery. I mean, it just stayed low, didn't it? Does that a lot in India, eh? Oh! <laughs> Why you got to do the man Steve like that? Come on, man. Steve is just a nice guy, man. Come on. You need to pick on him like that. <laughs> Leave him alone, Virat. Oh, no fucking run. Man, I can't wait. That Redaman Saha behind the stumps. I don't know how much of that I can actually show. It's like I'm showing the whole fucking game right there, but. Um... <laughs> oh, it's just the banter in it, isn't it? Man, Twitter, like, oh, this, this. I'm ready. I am so damn ready for this series, man. First test in Nagpur. I think it's, what, 8th or 9th of February. So we've only got about, like, 8, 9, 10 days till the first test match. Oh, my goodness. Damn, I need to do a first 11 video for the first. I need to do, like, predictions, I think. Got a little bit of content that I need to do before the series starts, I think. Facts that will change your perception of facts that will mess with your perception of time. If you are over the age of 45, I'm not. the world population has doubled in your lifetime. Everything in this 1991 Radio Shack ad exists in the smartphone you're watching this video on right now. A CD player? I mean, I can't put CDs in my in my phone, so that's that's cap. Um Speed dial? Sure. Um I mean, I guess you can play music out of the phone, right? Um okay. Dinosaurs roamed the earth for such a long period of time that dinosaur fossils existed while dinosaurs were still alive. King hey. Tut started ruling Egypt as a pharaoh before he was 10 years old until- Bro, I am telling you right now, I'm not listening, listening to a 10 year old. I don't care what year it was, but if a 10 year old is telling me what to do, you know what I'm doing? I'm spitting in the ground right next to him. I'm saying, go fetch it, go. I don't know, man. I'm just not having it. 10 year old telling me? What, what the hell? Till he died at 19 years Damn. old. Damn. Picasso and Snoop Dogg were alive at the same time. Oh, Every that's cool. Every single atom in your body is billions of years old. How is that possible? The human race has existed on Earth for only 0.004% of the Earth's entire history. Is that, hit, is that fact? Does anyone have the, uh, the history books on that one? I feel like I've been alive for, for a bit longer than that, but uh, Donny shares his most memorable cricketing moment. Matches that we have played, you know, that we remember throughout our life. But if you talk about moments, so when I talk about it, a lot of people say, oh, it must be the 2007 World, World Cup. Cup or the 2011 World Cup or yeah. 2013 or some other moment. I mean, Ashes. <laughs> no, I just said winning the Ashes. I mean, winning like a maybe in... in um, Winning a big series, maybe against Australia, or probably winning against Pakistan, maybe? The Ashes, I'm gonna edit that out. Say no, it's not that. It was actually 15, 20 minutes before we won the 2011 World Cup. You know, so this was in Wankhede. The whole stadium was singing Vande Matram. Because you knew it was over. I don't get for some yeah. odd reason, I don't know why. But literally my ear, you know, they were moving. <laughs> and those 15, 20 minutes, I feel that was the moment it would be very difficult to recreate unless some other stadium in India, some other stadium in India, we are playing the finals, we have a very good chance of winning and they start doing it. You know, because when it comes to the national anthem, if you see our national anthem, we cannot scream, we cannot shout, we cannot raise the voice because there's a pitch to it. But with one day Matram, you can do that. And if you imagine 35, 40,000 people at their emotional best and emotional <laughs> high, 
you know, shouting it, singing it. I feel that was the best moment. I could definitely see why, man. Like, oof. Man, I miss him. I miss Tony, man. I, I, I just miss him, miss him in international cricket. You know, he doesn't do much media stuff. You don't really hear from him much. Man, can't wait for IPL. You get to see the man, Tony. Uh, missing out on BGT trophy will nag at me for the rest of my life. All right, Glenn, I'm going to tell you some facts right now. As a friend, as as someone who loves you, Glenn, I'm going to be honest with you. You might have been in the squad. You know what? There might have been a slim chance he got picked in the squad. But I'm, again, I'm going to be honest. I don't think he was going to play. And hey, I would have loved to see Glenn play. I would have been an, a big advocate to see him play over Agar um, and, and, and them sort of guys. But... Look, mate, you've got a broken leg. <laughs> I mean, look, I know it sucks. It, it's unfortunate, but that is just God's plan for you. I mean, like, who knows? Maybe missing out on this tour will be the best thing that ever happened to you. And then he comes back for the ODI series, hopefully at the end of BGT series for the ODI games. And then maybe he goes crazy in them games as a return and, you know, gets his confidence back and makes a big impact towards the end of the tour. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no need to rule out Red Bull cricket for him. This this, this wasn't his last opportunity. Look, is there going to be any other opportunity? Pretty slim, but don't rule yourself out, Glenny boy. Don't rule yourself out, Glenny. Um, insane numbers, yeah. Dude, Dustin. Yeah, 19 innings. Um, oh, this is in SA as well. It's a thousand runs, an average of... Just a lazy 100 average, not bad. Uh, 300, 750s, 100 strike rate almost. And a high score of 129, not out. Yeah, that is... Um, those are like prime Faf Duplessis sort of numbers right there. Um, yeah, he gets the perfect for that. And to be honest, like he reminds me of Faf Duplessis sometimes, the way he plays. Um, like a little bit of like a... Like a jerk callous about him, just the way he stands and delivers sometimes. Gosh. Yeah, I did see these photos. Um, Hey, that's hey, this is everyone's childhood crush, man. Definitely mine growing up um, from the sports. And still is. I mean, come on, Elise Perry, man. One of Just the all-time. I mean, in my opinion, the greatest woman's cricketer to ever do it. But that's just me being a biased Australian and not knowing... A whole massive about the, the the history of women's cricket, but um, I mean, can you argue with it? I mean, in all three formats, she's done it all. So, time travel and moves a chair. The timeline. <laughs> he gave all of Surya's skills straight to Temba, and that's what Temba does, man. No surprise, in my opinion, that's what Temba does. When the god met with a Don, wanted to watch it. Did he get to meet Don Bradman? That's cool. Messi is unstoppable. Beats more than Hart. <laughs> Never mind, guys. Uh, most time as wicketkeeper. Oh, I can watch this one. Nice. Most time as wicketkeeper in ICC team. Quinny de Kock, three. Uh, Henry Butler, three. Rishab, three already at 25, isn't he? Four times for Gilly. Uh, Jesus, six times for Kumar. 13 times? That's like almost every single year of his career. <laughs> Bro, that's like almost every year of his career. He's like, yep, all right, put me in the team, please. Where is Rowan? <laughs> oh, Fox Cricket has released their poster of the BGT series. Yeah, I oh know. Um... Look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Virat is obviously the biggest name in cricket, but to 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 bring in, you know, the casual Aussie fans, seeing a photo of Virat Kohli is going to make, you know, the casual Aussie fans actually want to watch. And that's no disrespect to Rohit Sharma, but the Aussie, you know, again, I'm going to say it again, the casual cricket fans in Australia who only watch, you know, the big matches... They see Virat Kohli and they go, oh, I'll watch. But they see Rohit Sharma and they're not, you know, they're not thinking, oh, hell yeah, let's watch. And that's not, that's not from me. That's just how people think in this country, unfortunately. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, yeah, what the hell? Why does that look like Virat? Oh, my brother. 
and then roll it. Hey, I mean, Rowett can prove everyone wrong and just go big anyway with the cricket, with the runs. PSL franchises are facing a loss due to an increase in the rate of dollar. The Pakistan players are paid in USD, Why? Um, which is increasing the burden on teams. Yikers. Um, yeah, you're going to have to figure something out about that, PSL. India's winning captain Shabali Verma's mother, Black Jacket, um, is... Ooh, okay, this is cool. Can I watch it? Please, Twitter. That's awesome, bro. Nah, that is so cool, man. Man, that would just, like, make your life right there to see your mother that happy about something that you've done. Like, I think... Like, as a son, that is, like, all you can want in life, man, is to make your mum happy. Yeah! yeah! Man, that is so cool. I love it. I love stuff like that. Very wholesome. Um, and, hey, I did see this from Joe's Butler. Fuck you, Joss Butler. I, I'm sick of you. Um, it's, this isn't even that bad it's at all. Just relax. Just firming, bro. I'm trying to get to the ball. Yeah, sure. Huh? Yeah, What's the problem, Russell? It's not all about you all the time. I'm allowed to try and catch the ball. Okay, calm down. What do you want me to do? Okay, calm down. You know what I find interesting about it is that they're teammates at um at Rajasthan Royals, and um obviously you know it's just the cricket field you're allowed to banter. There was nothing wrong with this clip either. I mean, like this is just fair enough. Just relax. Just um, just relax. And then you hear to Dustin saying you're disturbing me. <laughs> You no, in fact, he said, you're disturbing me, bruv. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the ball. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to get to the ball. I'm from Ireland. Shut up. Right, I've had enough. Um, can we invite Neeraj Chopper to motivate Team India for all crucial games? You might as well. Get him in there at the uh, World Cup and you won't lose the game. Uh, India's geography is almost perfect. Better than you think. First, let's talk about defense. Sounds India, like an Australian speaking. Mountain chains on its north and northeastern borders, the Himalayas. The yeah. Indian coastline is 7,500 kilometers long. It has the strongest navy in the Indian Ocean. Due mm. to its slipshod weep island, India gets some good strategical position, giving it a stronghold in the region and enhancing its trade and economy. India is really near to the Gulf countries, which gives it uninterrupted oil and gas. Around 40% of shipping traffic passes through Arabian Sea, and India has full control over it. India is really? somehow at the center of Earth. Why? Answer in the comments below. I mean, probably because they're a big country and they make things happen. I mean, that's probably how it is. <laughs> People want to work with them. <laughs> I think that's how it is. Uh, what can $100 get you in different countries? What can you buy in $100 in different countries? Ooh, Australia! Five movie tickets? No, are we getting scammed? Hey, be honest, how much would it cost to go to a movie in your country? So, look, I mean, this is the, this is the new Avatar movie, which, I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen. Um, I think it's normally like, I mean, obviously, like, just the ticket, it's like normally like 18 to like $25 for, for like a movie ticket usually. So, what's that? 25 50 $75. So, uh, in fact, I think $100 can probably get you maybe four movie tickets, not five. So, um, yeah. And then you have to pay about $800 for popcorn. You have to pay about $43,000 for an ice cream. So, um, yeah, good fun. Copyright music, turn down. Wait, what did it say? It's because this shit at the top is in the front. I can't see. Indonesia, five. Damn, that looks cool. Um, Bolivia, 300 bus rides? What are you gonna A spa? Sweden, 100. It cost $1 to get an ice cream in Sweden? $1. I think we're moving to Sweden. Groceries for a month? God, that's awesome. 10, ten beers for 100 bucks? Oh, fuck off. Hell no. You can buy 24 beers in Australia. For, for about $50. I'm not paying a hundred bucks for 10 beers. Oh, brother. A hundred kilos of rice. Three course for a hundred dollars. Oh. 
what? That's good. I like that. Ooh, a bit of food. Yeah, I don't know about the 10 beers. That has got me shook. Like, that is a ripoff right there. That means you are paying $10 for every beer that you drink. I mean, that probably makes sense if you go out to like a pub or a restaurant, but if you just go to a liquor store and buy a case of beer, you get 24 beers for $52 in Australia. Okay. Number of Indian student in every country. I know there's a, there's a lot of Indian growth in Australia, right? Students outside of India, so here we have- What happened? I didn't even click anything. <laughs> Bro, have the play. entirety of India. Meanwhile, there is only seven in Sri Lanka. Damn. How is it seven? And who are these seven? I want For real. Answers. Not surprised that there's only 230 in Pakistan. There's 23,000 in China. You know, out of the 11 million, I figured there'd be a little bit more. Quite a bit in the Philippines. Philippines? Only eight in Indonesia? Like, I just, there's no way that's accurate. Okay, about 100,000 in Australia. I can see that. It's actually six. Yeah! Look at Australia. Yes, sir. Are we home to the most amount? of like overseas Indian people hey I'm not gonna lie that if that is true I take I take good pride in that as a country man I didn't even know that not almost a hundred thousand and that is just students going to school here that's not even like just outside of the students Damn, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I can see that. It's actually 16,000 in Russia. Meanwhile, as we approach towards Iran? the west, there's 80,000 oh. in Saudi Arabia. What? 200,000 in the UAE. Oh, oh, wait, hold and on, never mind. only 48 in Turkey. <laughs> How is this real? Obviously, the yeah, country of Europe is going to have quite a bit. Not a whole lot in Sudan. Africa. I mean, 10 in Sudan. Bro, who is in Sudan? We only have numbers for like Mozambique and Kenya, Tanzania. There's over 200,000 in the oh, USA and they got Canada, more. but actually Canada has a bit more. Oh, Even shit. Students like Canada more than the US. What? Four decided to actually come to brazil pretty cool i mean look i mean so, some of you guys are choosing interesting schools to go to i don't know who was going to school in um i'm trying to be an asshole but yeah sudan. Like, i'm gonna be honest who's going to school in sudan <laughs> bro who's going to school in sudan Wait. man I, I, to yeah, be honest, I didn't even know they had like great schools How is this there. Real? Obviously, the continent of Europe is going to have quite a bit, not a whole lot. I, I actually can't believe there are 10 people going to school in Sudan, like, that have chosen that school. Like, I feel like there's, you know, wouldn't you just go to Egypt or am I just not knowing enough about the country of Sudan? I feel like maybe I'm just oblivious to actually the country. But. Uh, Dravid gave the mic to Prithvi um, and asked him to congratulate the woman's team. Yeah, of course, he won the, the World Cup trophy as a skipper as well. So, I like that. I like that. I did watch the uh, the video. Shout out to Prithby, man. I hope he gets a game. And he shoots! Oh! <laughs> oh, bro wants a chippy. How much do you know your sister? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, right up the bum. <gasps> it's a monkey. <laughs> that is not funny. That is not fucking funny. I hope that monkey comes back for you, and I hope it tears off your arms. That's not funny. And you know that monkeys know that stuff. Like, it'll, those monkeys and its friend, it might not hit you now. It might not hit you next week. It might not even hit you next month. You walk past that area in three months time, you're going to have a gang of monkeys that are going to jump you and take everything that you own, man. Monkeys are smarter than you think. Let's not bully them. Oh, that's his shoe. Oh, in the mud. Damn. Bro, you got to be careful doing that. Nah, you do that in Australia and you're actually going to jail. That is insane. <laughs> Spider-Man! Venom? <laughs> Wait, what happened? Missed it, what happened? Oh, did the zip come off? Oh, brother. Bro's gonna be trapped inside the suit. Oh, that is low key scary. Hell no. Oh, oh, oh! Need to get that fixed, my brother. 
get that fixed, that moped. Uh, David Miller is a monster. Yeah, one of, easily one of the finest white ball players in this generation for sure. Uh, Temba in ODIs, uh, 875 runs, average of 46. Three centuries and two 90s. Only SA captain to whitewash India. Okay. First South African captain to win series versus England in seven years. Your apology should be as loud as your disrespect was. Facts. Shout out to Temba for um, taking on the role and just let... And, and, and shout out to South Africa for backing him in. I mean, they could have easily just said, all right, you're in shit form now. See ya. We don't care. But that's what I like about South Africa. They stick by their people. Um, scenes after him. Sun, Sundar's dad with Surya. <laughs> sure, watching Ishan getting chances even after failing in 13 innings. Kohli and Rowett. Yep, I don't know where they're at. Australians after watching the Indian pitches. I know, it gets you a little bit interesting, doesn't it? Gets it a little bit. Got the man Kohli from the Mr. Nags interview. Players who got reunited this season. Dhoni and Stokes from RPS, yeah. Khan and Kane. Yuzi and Zorba. Hey, Alan Pulran, of course, yeah. Former uh, Punjab Kings legends. Reasons why India smacked England. If you're going to do it, do it against England, yeah. <laughs> hey, taking great words of the uh, the absolute queen right here. Um, we have an emote for her. Like, I feel like I need one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking all cool, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got Natish right. Damn, Natish. Damn. Unlike it now. I mean, he, he's not contracted by BCCI, you know, internationally. So it's not like it, there's a problem. Um, but probably, probably not something I'd be doing if I'm a professional cricketer. But, uh, Hey, he just may maybe he wants opportunities for our uh, Prickby Shaw, so hey, it's all good. Oh. <laughs> Boomra and the IPL. If anything's gonna wake the man up. Oh yeah. The IPL. <laughs> yeah, I think that's copyright. <laughs> oh, that's um from the movie, I can't remember which one. <clears throat> Yeah, he's going to be up and about IPL time. That man, Boomer, is going to come to his absolute best. <laughs> oh, yeah. In 2018, uh, highly rated 17-year-old pace bowler, the same Shah who was signed by the Quetta Gladiators. Uh, in 2020... Oh. 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 I see the problem. Hold on. It took me a minute to get it. Um... Yeah. Um, look, man, it's, um, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, there's, there's, look, there's not much that I can say about it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it seems to happen a lot with quite a lot of cricketers and, um, hey, I know it is quite a lot of common things, um, from people in those sort of areas, like, Obviously, Rashid Khan, I don't think, like, and this is me being honest, I don't want anyone to take this as offensive or think I'm being disrespectful in any way possibly because I love everyone, you guys know that. But it does seem, yeah, from some countries, like, they won't have their birth certificates correct or they just are really unsure on, on an age, which, you know, can just happen. It's not a big deal for a lot of things. Like, Rashid Khan, like, I think he's been, you know, 22 for... 45 years like uh, uh you know it just kind of makes no sense but it was actually like and you can skip over this little story that i'm about to say but I, when i played afl like football like the national sport here when i was really younger um and we played in a team and we made it to the grand final but we played against a team that that had like a really like it was under 12 so it was just 12 year olds and younger and we had this kid that we were playing against um, on the other team who was a South Sudan kid, but he was about six foot five. He was built like muscles at 12 years old. He had a full beard at 12 and he, he dominated and was easily the best player on the ground and was the clear reason that we lost the game. But his birth certificate said he was 12 
but you just looked at them. He was, it was a grown man. It was like it, we were playing against a 32 year old guy out there. Um, yeah, anyways, I just thought I'd tell everyone that little story. <laughs> if you care, you care. If you don't care, then you probably skipped ahead. Um, what's this? We got Pandia, captaincy, fielding, batting, opening, bowling, other players in team. Yeah. <laughs> the man arched deep in Siobhan Marvi saying, when are we going to get a damn bowl? Jahal only getting to bowl two overs on the spin pitch. Yeah. He's taking a lot of the responsibility on him, isn't he, uh, Hardy? Pa uh, Pakistan likely to appoint Mickey Arthur as the... as the. Huh? What's online coach mean? What does that mean? Does that mean, like... Because obviously they're not going to appoint a coach who can't be there in person. So what does that mean? Is like that would genuinely be the dumbest thing ever if if they were going to hire a coach that could only speak to them through like a phone or computer. Like that's that's not what they're doing, right? That's please tell me that's not what they're doing. Pakistan. I must be reading it wrong or something because if that's actually what they're doing and their head coach isn't going to be with the team in person, but instead he's just going to, you know, he's going to get the phone out. He's going to go, oh, hey, Baba. Yep, we're playing Zimbabwe today. Yep. Um, just go out there and score some runs. Thanks. Hung out. Like, is that, is that what he's going to do? Hey, shit. I mean, if that's, uh, yeah, something I wouldn't particularly want to do. Um, PCB wanted Mickey Arthur as coach, but he didn't want to leave Derbyshire. But they had to... So, so... So... So they're actually going to do this. This this is going to be a real thing. They're going... They're, their coach is not going to actually be with the team. It's just that, that is genuinely embarrassing. Like that is shit house. Um, I I could not imagine anything worse than that. Um, how the hell are you meant to build team? And I know that Mickey Arthur has been around the. You know he knows what to do. He's not an idiot. He's someone who's done this for years and years, and he's a smart guy. But how are you meant to build the culture? How are you meant to like build the friendship? Like how are you meant to give the hard talk straight away? Like. What, is he going to be in Derbyshire watching the match at 3am in the morning and then, you know, as soon as Mohamed Rizwan goes out, he's going to phone up the boys and say, hey, Rizwan, that was a shit shot, and then hang up? Like, okay, interesting. Anyways, moving on. We let people do whatever they want, I guess. Served, what do you think? For this or for the, the, the Rassi Durdassen? I think the Durdassen thing... It's fair enough. I mean, whatever. It wasn't that bad, but an ODI player of the year for the man David Warner. Uh, he did a few pretty good uh, TikTok dances this year, so he definitely deserved it. But um, I don't even remember his statistics from this season, I'm going to be honest. So I can't really say it was deserved or not, but it was probably between like him, Travis Head. Who even else played well in ODI cricket? Like Stark, maybe? Hazelwood. Too much nostalgia. Oh, I know. I know what these sort of things are, though. We used to have these, but like with um with the football players, like AFL. Um. Hey, Umesh Yadav. Which one would you guys pick if you got to pick one? Obviously, you know all of the the classmates. They're gonna run in there and try and steal the Virat Doni roll it ones. I think I would go with either DK or Yuzi. Or Yuzi. Um, or Shika. Can't forget Shik. Manish Pandy. Uh, Krunal. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Who's picking Krunal? Not me. Um, whoever gets Krunal, you probably got the last one. <laughs> you probably were the last person to the table to collect it, and you got the last one. <laughs> um... America is getting weirder by the day. That's Tell not surprising. Think of it. A woman okay. is someone can give birth. Oh my god. No. <laughs> America. Wait, what? 
Wait, huh? So what do you think of it? A woman okay. is someone who can give birth. Yes? Oh my god. No. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? What what do you mean a woman can't give Wait. What? <laughs> America as a society is getting weirder and weirder day by day. I mean, they don't know what is a woman. They don't know how many genders are there. There's extreme wokeism. There is false liberalism and all sorts of things that is going on in America right now. And the reason why this is happening is because America as a country is a first world country. It is a superpower. That means that all all the basic human problem in America has already been solved. So there's no real basic problems the people face there. Unlike third world countries, people who reside there, they face. So they don't have any real life problems. But this man is speaking so much facts right now. But we as human beings, we are always in a lookout for problems and we always tend to try to solve those problems. That's how we have grown as a homo sapiens. But as I said to you that in America, there is no real life problem. So what they, did, they created problems and now they are trying to solve those problems that aren't even real. Yeah, absolutely correct. Um... And look, without without getting too much onto that topic, because this is cricket memes, and I'm not going to sit here and talk about you know, gender and all that bullshit. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't bother me. I really do not give a shit what people do, as long as you don't put your stuff onto me and you let me be myself and enjoy my company and what I like to do. Then I don't care. Um, as long as I've got you know my family on YouTube around me, I really don't give a shit. But He's definitely right. He's he's 100% correct um, with that. So that's all I'm going to say on that one. Maybe in the future I might uh, I might have like a podcast or something that I can speak on topics like that because I definitely want to speak my mind a little bit more sometimes. But sometimes I also am a little bit worried of, you know, people clipping it up and trying to post it somewhere and make you seem like an, a bad guy or something. If both Queen and King will play for Artsy... This is what every RCB fan wants. This is the edit that I keep seeing all over my Twitter. Um, I, I mean, look, it'd be pretty cool for the culture, wouldn't it? Although, if it's at least Perry, I don't think they'd be upset either. Uh, most popular sport teams on Instagram. Uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Man United, PSG, and RCB. Okay. It's pretty cool. Um... Maybe I think number six would have been my cricket page that I run um, called Cricket 4K on Instagram. So if you aren't following it, go follow it. You know, I'm always posting uh, just some cool, you know, vintage cricket photos on there in high definition. Um, it's just something that I enjoy doing. If you like it, you like it. Cool. Man, Man that sucks. Rest in peace people there so it's just things like that like why man like just just be kind and be someone's friend like or you don't even have to be someone's friend like why do you want to do that to people so, i don't know uh, i'm not gonna get into it uh mentality uh, if, if fifty thousand people in the stadium feels like it cannot be done i would challenge myself to say that it can be done that's the mentality you need to be on top always Virat was a star at age 23 in three formats. T20 career, um, best of 78, average of 40. Yeah. Uh, ODI career obviously was already a superstar. <laughs> 90 matches already, 3,800 runs, 183 high score, an average of 50. Test score, he was just starting to come along, um, you know, taking positions of the, uh, the ex um, seniors in the team, average of 38 at that point. Yeah, I mean, look at that point in his career. I've said that, that Virat Kohli was obviously a superstar, but everyone in Australia knew who Virat Kohli was when he was 20. You know, like, it's just a name that everyone knows. Um, even when he, you know, first came onto the scene. During 2017, BGT, Pajara smashed a double hundred by facing 525 deliveries. What on earth? He created the record for most deliveries faced by an Indian. Ooh, more than Dravid. Wow. Yeah, please don't do this again, Pudgy. Um, if you could just uh, leave the ball when it swing back in and get bowled, I would appreciate it. Uh, Eknar Stadium pitch creator has been removed. Man. 
this. Oh, we got 10 news. So this means this is Australian. And proudly showing off a little urn. Oh, oh, I remember this clip. Holy shit. If you guys haven't seen this, this is too funny. Showing off a little urn. I'll spend four days at home before flying out for the World Cup. This is too good. I just can't understand how something so small can be so impressive. Well, Mark, you would know about that. Thank you very much. Weather's next with Jane Riley, but first, here's George Negus. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh! Also, wait, firstly, how would she know? Um, does that, you know, is there workmate conflict here? I don't, I don't really know what's going on here. It's, it seems a little bit sus to me, but damn, this man got destroyed. I just can't understand how something so small can be so impressive. Well, Mark, you would know about that. Oh, brother! There's no coming back from that. You're done. Thank you very much. And look at his face! <laughs> oh, brother, no! 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 Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come. Thank you very much. You again. Oh, brother, that is too much right there. <laughs> it's too much. RCB is the most popular Indian sports team in the world. In Instagram last year, okay. Say the first word that comes to mind. Oh no. It's good at badly. Say say the first word that comes to mind. I don't know, I just need to make sure the volume's all. Say the first Wait, word. Wait, what did that, you say? Word that comes to mind, bitch. Okay. Say the first word that comes to mind. Nigga. <laughs> say okay. the first word that comes to mind. Crazy. Bruh. Say the first Ooh. word that comes to mind. Racism. Say the first what word the that comes to mind. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that guy is racist for even just like... What do you... Why is ra... Okay. Comes to mind. Penis. What? Say the first word that comes to mind. Cock. Bro, this is why I could not go to school in the US of A. Oh my fucking god, bro. Walmart bag. That's okay, two that's words, pretty though. valid. Bag. Right Walmart. on. Say the first word that comes to mind. Uh, dick. Cool. Say the first word that comes to mind. Say the first word that comes to mind. Bruh. Taco. Damn, what? I think he got stuffed in the locker that morning. That's why he's not friendly. Taco. Taco. Cool. That's Say valid. Say the first word that comes to mind. Uh, soccer. soccer. Hey, okay. Head. What's the first word that okay. comes to mind? Nick. <clears throat> What's the first? Bro, this shit is not funny. I actually don't like this shit. I hate when, like, it's becoming a trend nowadays for white kids or people of not of the race to just, like, say the word as a joke. I don't Come like on. it. Nick. But, bro, What's chill the first out. word that comes to mind? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? James Charles. James Charles. Bro, why is that the thing that comes to your mind? Leave that predator out of here. And what's this motherfucker doing? Are you recording? Good. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, please. Jesus Christ, help them kids. Someone help half of those kids. The one who said taco and Walmart bag, they're going to be future millionaires. But the other ones, well, they need to get some questions. Uh, RCB is the only cricket team in the top five. Yeah. Sheesh. Damn. I wonder how close. I wish there was like a top 10 so we could see if, um, um, all of the what's it called the, what am i talking about i've totally forgot now i was just reading the message there and i got confused so we could see all the other ipl um teams and if they're in the top 10. one odi match you'll never forget of course we have reviewed this entire series on the channel but yeah what a series runs and more runs eh <laughs> Runs, runs, and more runs. The man George Bailey was our captain that series. Of course, is uh, our team selector now. Itch curator has been fired. Bro got fired one day after the game. I mean, that's rough. Uh, Prez, Virat, and Anushka ahead. Hey, getting his preparation in, okay. What's this guy doing? B point now. Real OG celebrate. Hey. Is that Pritvi at the top? Got Shubi. Yeah. 
Yeah, that nah, that's my favourite Verat Collie celebration where he, you know, taps the back of the shirt um, against the Windies. And then he does the, you know, the money thing as well where he's, you know, listing it off. That's definitely my favourite. Like, like that, that is the coldest celebration from Verat. Like, tapping the back and showing your name on the shirt. Like, yeah, that's me, motherfucker. That's me. And I'm doing this. Like, that is, like, bro, I'm not going to lie. That is cold. Happy with the outcomes. Mm, okay, let's go through it. Uh, Beth Mooney. So that's best woman's cricketer. Okay. Uh, Steve Smith. It would have been either him or Kawaja, but I like it. Well done, Steve. Proud of you, Steve. Um, I love you. Um, respond back to my message. Uh, Usman Kawaja, Test Player of the Year. Yes. Uh, David Warner, ODI. Talia McGrath. Yes. Doint. Marcus Stoinis, T20 player of the year. I don't even need to see any statistics to know that is not true. Um, Annabelle Sutherland, well done. Michael Neza, uh, domestic player of the year. He's a, he's a legend. I love Ness. Um, Lance Morris, young cricketer of the year. And then Uzi Kawaja, community impact award. Shout out to Usman. Absolute king. Shout out to Steve. Shout out to Beth. Shout out to all of the Australians who won. Yeah. Morelli VJ announced his decision to retire from all fours. Probably a good decision. Um, he represented India in 87 matches across 61 tests, 17 ODIs and 9 T20s. He last played for India in 2018 against Australia in Perth. Now, look, all the jokes at his expense that we have done, look, the things that he has decided to do in his life at some points, that not anyone would really agree with. But it doesn't stop me from saying a happy retirement to the man Murali VJ. I hope he lives a successful and happy life after cricket. And um, yeah, uh, look, of course, you know, test cricket was obviously where he did his best work and you know, had a couple of centuries to his name. It's not like he was a, a an average batsman. I mean, he was a pretty good top order guy. So um, all credit to him. If you play 61 matches for your country, you've done a really good thing. So, um, well done. Pakistani batters when the Zoom call with Mickey Arthur suddenly disconnects. Oh, no. Oh, no. Glenn, what are you thinking? Oh, Elisa Healy to go RCB. What do you guys reckon? To follow in Mitchell Stark's footsteps, of course, RCB himself. So, Lord Temba has his foundation. He started his own foundation in 2016 to upgrade cricket facilities, facilitate cricket um, cricket clinics for the talented young, providing financial support through scholarships. That's why he's my goat. Such a legend, right there. Good stuff, Ward Timber. I love you for that. What a man, giving back right there. Because there are so many cricketers that, uh, you know, get so much money nowadays. And it would actually surprise you at how many of them are actually quite selfish and don't give back at all. Like, I feel like if I was, you know, a millionaire, I'm giving back. Like, who, like what are you even meant to do with all the coin? Make or break time ahead for P Sir Paddy. The next 10 matches of my career as test captain. I could go from being the captain of the Aussie team to the worst. Ugh, he can. That's the thing. But he's done a great job so far, but BGT is where he's going to have to make his mark. You know, you're going to have to make snap judgments of bowling changes, batting order, you know, field placements, you know, keeping your team calm and you know settled in the hot Indian sun. Um, you know, you can make a man do crazy things out there. So. He can keep the team settled and playing well. Good. And then all of this to go. Thankfully, we have Steve Smith there as vice captain, um, you know, to help out. Now we know the success of Sky. I followed the advice of Yuzi Chahal, which he gave me in the last series. I learned more from him. He's my batting coach. <laughs> the man Yuzi. Hey, he doesn't need to even play. He can just be a full-time coach. Look at that man Cool Deep saying... I taught you how to bowl. <laughs> I taught you how to bat and bowl. ICC's most trolled cricketer of the year. <laughs> Easily. 
KL is easily the most trolled. Ac Ooh, actually, I feel like Barba might be the most trolled, but definitely by his own fans. KL. <laughs> I mean, the man doesn't even play a match for two months. He's getting married. It's meant to be the happy moment of his life, and people are still trolling him. <laughs> With the orange caps at his wedding. Oh, man. That's still the funniest meme I've seen almost ever. India World Cup history. 80... <laughs> it's not. Will they add 2023 to it? Wendy's... Oh, oh. Wendy's World Cup history. Okay, I don't think I can watch any of these. Uh, when bowling shocked... By the... Can I watch this one? I have a feeling, guys, that I won't be able to watch this one either. It's just a weird feeling I have. Yep, there you go. Great. Shout out to... Uh, Terry... Turgic cricket shorts. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, when the lecture ends at 1 p.m. and it's 1.05 now, the back benches. <laughs> Get me out of here. For real. Nah, that was me in class, like back in the day when, you know, like your class, let's say it finishes at 3 p.m. and you are at the door. It's 3 p.m. You're saying, I'm out of here. The class is done. The bell's ringing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. And the teacher says, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. It's like, well, what the fuck's the bell for? The bell is to signal the end of class. I'm out of here. God damn. <laughs> and all the teachers who used to say, no, come back, come back. I dismiss you. No, the bell dismisses me, mate. You're a 14-year-old kid, but you play for under 19s. <laughs> Leave Brick me alone. Oh, man, Shiraeus, come on, bro. And look at that man laughing. Look at Hetmeyer. Oh, he's got a wet booty now. I love the man Pritvi. Give him a game, India. What are you doing? We got uh, Speed and um, Aiden. Speed caught in 4K. He's on FaceTime. Oh, the photo at the top right. Yeah. Oh, and Lil Uzi. <laughs> What's Lil Uzi doing? <laughs> um, who's this? Is this Speed again? Hello. Hi. Was that in the background? He's going to bully her, isn't he? I said, what, your film? Don't be mean, Speed. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Alright, have a nice day, alright? Aww, thank you, Speed. Hello? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I like that. That was better. I thought he was going to be mean to the first girl, and she looked like it was a little kid. You know, I didn't want him to be rude. But valid. That The end was valid. Feeling sad for Temba? Why? What happened to... This is, you know, 2017, I think, this footage, right? Where's Timber? What happened? Rabada! Oh, no, Kigiso, you're gonna... Yes! That's all right. That's okay. Got it in the end. Not many people can see him, I guess, but he's there. Damn. Damn, it's ruined my day. Why is everyone so mean to Timber? Um, I probably can't watch this either. Nope. So, for some reason... Some YouTube channels, they block their display from being on another website, which is so annoying. I mean, why would you make that a setting um, for your channel? Wouldn't you want more people to watch your um, content? Like, <laughs> Okay, I guess this one is too. I don't know why some of these pages do it. When Ronaldo interviewed himself? Hello? Hello, I'm Hello. Cristiano Ronaldo. Hey. I'm top journalist. Really? I'm here in Carrington to do interview with Cristiano Ronaldo for Sky Sports. You promise you're gonna score in the final? Please respect me. <laughs> Head, free kick. All the same stupid. Bicycle. Person. If you have the penalties, you don't want to miss again, really? Yeah. We win the game. And that's got the goal. Is Lionel Messi is better player than you. Uh, maybe I'm better reporter than, than him. What do you say, sir? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. 
This is not important. Why you never Max. give the proper answer about Madrid? Oh! Please, Ronnie. All the time this question, stupid questions. No, I'm gonna stay here. I want to stay here. Cristiano Ronaldo, top journalist for Sky Sports. See you later. Good work there, Christy. Wait, is it actually him or is it a different guy? Stupid question. No, nah, it's not. It's the same guy. I thought it was actually a, like a, a fake Ronaldo to viewing him. So, and hey, that is gonna cap off cricket memes. One for 16, I believe. One sixteen. So hey, we are moving along. We're gonna find something that's funny. Although there was the man pretty sure. There's a man orange cap. Um Actually, you know what? Let's leave it right here. Shout out to Lord Temba. I want everyone, if you're watching right now, to drop a comment. Just Lord Temba. Or at least, you know, just, just some praise for the man Temba, Bavuma. Now, everyone likes to troll him so much, but when he does really good, he deserves the praise. He's a great dude, so love you, Temba. Hey, that is going to cap off memes 116. I hope you all enjoyed. If you would like to join the Discord, upload your own memes or get an early preview, comment down below comment, DM me. I will happily get you in here. And hey, I hope we all enjoyed. And I'll see everyone in the next one.